because it's this is my passion that I come on live and talk to you all so I don't mind doing my passion on my birthday because it's what I love to do and because I was thinking about should I not go live because it's a birthday I don't celebrate birthdays like that but um hey no we talking about you today <laughs> no 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 I want to be in a position to give back I mean me the my life is simple I'm a little I'm a little happy retired bird lady in Arizona I like to sit out and watch my birds and my hummingbirds my morning doves you can hear them and I I'm retired I want for nothing but yet I attract everything and and I'm trying to help my reflections get into that place <laughs> how you have two lives because I have two phones I'm on God is just be over here and God is just be healthy and so I have two TikTok pages so I go live on both of them and this one here my old phone so I look a little little blurry you know the pixels or whatever not as good but I still do it and this is the one the first one with the new phone the one that you own that's the one I upload to my YouTube channel because it look a little clear a whole lot of clear we love your energy thank you we celebrating you baby yeah happy birthday thank you grandma thank you grandma sherry i really appreciate that thank you thank you thank you uh what is that marty thank you so that's it for me i manifested you know financial freedom i you know retired i get to do what i want to do with my time your time is energy so i got all this energy and i like to give back to my reflections in the areas of um health and wellness and mindfulness and um all the knowledge that I've obtained over the years for all the things that I've been through in my life from sickness you know, to wellness from religion to spirituality from not knowing self to knowledge of self and connected to my inner being that's what I love to do so that's that's me but today I got a lot of um I got a lot of um, giveaways um, that I want to share with you all for my on my website um, for those of you who do not know, my website address is in my bio, link in my bio, saltoftheearthpub.org. And there, me too, I'm in my garden today. Oh, okay, cool. That's what's up. Oh, it's Ma Marty Extra. That's what that is. Extra. Okay, cool. You giving out hugs. Okay, I'll take one. <laughs> so, on my website, for those of you who are um, having, you know, health issues or just desire to want to eat right for your blood type that's been the main focus of my page uh, I have available um, meal plans the seven-day meal plan which includes your um, a list of foods that you should be avoiding based upon your blood type and a list of highly beneficial food so why do I uh, sell that why do I offer you that because your blood our blood has memory our blood is magical our blood is a footprint for our DNA our blood activation actually activates our God cell our blood when it connects to food since it has memory it creates a chemical reaction called lectins in our body lectins in our body causes inflammation tear up our gut autoimmune diseases and this is really what all sickness and diseases are stemming from basically us putting the wrong type of things in our body our blood connecting with it and causing havoc in our body on my website I have available like I said the link is in my bio I have available um, the meal plan but today only while I am live this is how you get to my bio for those of you who don't know how to do that you will click on the picture at the top this is what a bio is you know the little information about me and on it you'll see my website address sort of the earth pub.org and so you will click on that or you just type in your browser www.saltoftheearthpub.org <laughs> love your powerful headdress oh thank you babe and so at the top of my website you'll see these words right here eat right for your blood type the meal plan so that's where you're going but today today while i'm live i've made it readily available for those who need it but today while i'm live only I have available this is what the image looks like on my website I have available also an instant cheat code um, list 
food list for those who want to lose weight. The instant cheat code in conjunction with all of the highly beneficial foods would be for somebody maybe that's overweight, somebody that's really, really sick and that that um, maybe obese, you know, maybe their beneficial bacteria is no longer there. They don't have any digestive enzymes. So while I'm live, I'm offering a coupon code for the meal plan plus the cheat codes. If you purchase the meal plan, you automatically get the cheat codes as well while I'm live. Only while I'm live though. That's one of the things that I want to offer today. And that is really a great value. And that's really going to help people in their physical reality that are, you know, overweight. Even financially helping them. Let me make sure that I activated the, um, the code before I even begin. Because I got a lot of little goodies that I want to give away just to be in a position to, to bless people, you know. Like I always tell you all, it is more blessed to give than it is to receive. Because energetically, what you're saying is to your, 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 your universe is like, I have, I'm abundant. I have, I'm abundant. <laughs> and so the universe in return is saying, well, give her or him more of abundance. So, let's see. Let me make sure I have these coupon codes. All of my coupon codes are activated. And then we'll, then I'll tell you what the code is. Okay. Let me check right quick. Boom, do, 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 do. I feel so good today. I feel so good today. Okay. Yep, I activated it already. So if you put in your cart today while I'm live, if you put in your cart the meal plan and the instant cheat codes, you'll get the instant cheat code based upon your blood type for free. <laughs> for free. Let's see. Somebody just made that purchase. Look, look y'all. Look what I found. I found this cool little um, gadget. Wait, let me see. Let me turn it on. <laughs> I found this cool little gadget that I had years ago with the little applause. When you were <laughs> they got the applause, the laughter, the awkwardness. I think that is the coolest thing. Before I begin to speak, y'all, I was kind of like manifesting because my 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 inner being would used to tell, we used to show me in my dreams what I was gonna be doing, and I didn't know where, what platform, or how I was gonna be speaking to a bunch of people. So being that my inner being would show me these things, I would buy a little gadget. So I got this little uh, live sound card that gives you awkward song song noises, momentum. <laughs> Look. Bing song, all kind of cool little things. But I was thinking about, I was thinking about when people, when people today, just today only, so I could cut up just a little bit. When people uh, ask them crazy questions, y'all check y'all type, y'all typos before y'all send the question in the comment. Cause I be sitting up here saying, I wonder what they trying to say. They, they got some typos up in there. So when them, they come true with them typos today, we getting this. <laughs> Any trolls that come through all my life today, any trolls, I don't have no moderators up in here. I don't be blocking people, but the troll, when you come through, <laughs> we're going to send you back to 3D. You remember that? You remember that Mr. Um, that man, Mr. Kevin Samuels, he, he played that song right there. So he must have had him a sound card when I get little gifts or whatever. When y'all tap the screen, screen, I think this is so cool. I think it's so cool. Anyway, nonetheless, the coupon code is happy birthday. So for those of you that want to purchase the meal plan, you purchase the meal plan and your instant uh, cheat code for your weight loss and enter in happy birthday. And you'll get the weight loss cheat code downloaded for free. So that's buy one, get one fee free. So the coupon code for that is happy birthday good morning hey hey D, uh Devo, how you doing hey lady hey 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 good afternoon goddess hey hey how are you 
So the coupon code is happy birthday. For those that want to get the meal plan plus the instant cheat code, you have to have both of them in your cart and you'll get the cheat code for free. Also, my largest selling product, my largest selling product is available. It's called um, the Alchemist Oil. The Alchemist Oil is an oil that can be used in so many ways. You could oil pull with this. You have to dilute it. Regardless of how you use it, you're going to be diluting it with a carrier oil. When you dilute it with a carrier oil, like olive oil, you dilute in it because it's really, really powerful and it'll burn. It has a burning sensation because oregano is the world's most powerful antioxidant. So people purchase this and buy it. Wait, I feel like I'm about to sneeze. Excuse me. People purchase this and they, they get it for many, many reasons. If you have bronchitis type issues, you could, once it's diluted, you could put it on your chest. You could oil pull with it. That means you're squishing it like you're gargling with it after it's diluted and it'll help clean out your tonsils. It'll help pull parasites and toxins from your esophagus, from your head if you have sinus type issues. So you could basically use this internally and externally. You can wash your meats with it by putting like three drops of it in some water when you're soaking your meat in your vinegar or with your uh, lemon. You can wash your meat with this because it's anti-parasitic and it'll clear, especially your fish. If you like a blood type A, especially your fish and things. So I would suggest washing all your meat, but that's just me. It is available and it has a percentage discount on it. The percentage discount on this one here, if you put this one here in your cart, this coupon code is she is rich. We're manifesting today with these coupon code titles. She is rich. If you want to purchase the Alchemist oil, the coupon code is she is rich. The last item that I want to share with you all only while I am live, I have a Power Within Transformation course available on my website. The Power Within Transformation course <laughs> is right on the main screen underneath the picture of me. So when you go to my website, link is in my bio. When you go to my website underneath the picture of me, you'll see little small images. One of them is going to be the Power Within Transformation course. It's 18 how-to videos how to i'm talking about how to in the spiritual and how to in the physical how to grocery shop how to avoid the harmful ingredients how to clean out your organs all of this is physical right but keep in mind i come at you both ways i teach the physical on my help page but i'm also into mindfulness so in that package i teach you how to manifest how to meditate how to you know attract um healthy relationships and so forth right so those 18 how-to videos is available. If you on my website, you see the picture of me on my website. Right underneath it, you'll see my most popular um, items right here that people purchase. And that's where you'll find the Power Within Transformation course. And you click on it, you click on that picture and it'll allow you to put it in your cart and purchase it. Those are videos. You're gonna be getting the link to the videos. The coupon code for that only today and only while I am live is I am ready. I am ready. Yes, it's all together. One, no spaces. She is rich. <laughs> she is rich. All together, no spaces. She is rich. That's for the Alchemist Oil. For the um, Power Within Transformation course, all together, no spaces, I am ready. Because that's when you're ready to change your life. That's when you're ready to tap into your higher self, right? For the free weight loss, weight loss cheat code, which will be every fruit, vegetable, nut, seed, based upon your blood type, you'll get that for free in addition to purchasing the... Um, the seven day meal plan in the beneficial food list. So now you know all your highly beneficial foods, what to avoid, every category. You'll have your at home herbal potion in that package. Plus, you'll know the target foods that will snatch your stomach back. 
you know, because our stomach stretch when we gain weight and when we put all kind of things in there against our blood type, we'll, you'll know everything to snatch your stomach back to its size. You'll know everything that's going to snatch that skin. You know how people lose all of that weight, hundreds of pounds, and now they have that skin that's dragging along with them? Well, if they was eating for their blood type, that skin would have drew up with them. They have certain foods based upon your blood type that do that for you. See, food has always been your healer. Food has always been there, but we forsook food and we went to man-made foods, which don't do that for that for us. So based upon your blood type, the chemical reaction that will happen in your body when you eat those foods, it'll snatch you back. So no more waist trainers, no more sitting up there can't breathe and function or can't sit down, at least you bust something wide open. No more actually going to the gym, killing yourself in the beginning. Allow your food to work for you to bring down that inflammation, to help you with your healthy bowel movement, your digestive enzymes. And then when you start to feel good and you're less inflamed, then start to work out. That's the wise way to do it. At least you go there, get so inflamed, and you get you start to hurt so bad, so now you don't want to work out no more because you think you're going to hurt something. That's because you were already inflamed. That's because of when you were eating the old foods, they inflamed you so much till when it's time to work out, you don't want to do nothing no more. You don't want to add to the fire. So I'm teaching you how to put the fire out through food through herbs, nuts, seeds, fruits, vegetables, your proper oils, the proper meat, because you do have, unless you're A, everybody, other blood type have highly beneficial uh, meats that they can eat. But all, including the A, have seafoods, lighter meats that they can eat based upon their blood type that are really beneficial and to helping them with their digestive enzymes, helping them increase the microbiome diversity in their gut and helping them thrive. So sickness be gone, inflammation be gone. Now you know and knowing these things in conjunction to get into know yourself is how you win when you play the game of life. <laughs> I'm more positive. Every time I eat pork, it makes me feel yucky. Yeah, because there is no blood type actually that should be that should be eating. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. I got me a rose. Let me, let me get back. <laughs> I got my little soundboard. <laughs> I got a rose. Thank you for the rose, Tony. Yeah, because no blood type should be eating pork. None of them. I got another rose <laughs> on the other page. <laughs> that is so cool. She is rich. No space. How long is the sale? Only while I'm live. Only while I'm live. Only today while I'm live. So I'm going to be here maybe about an hour or two. Sometimes I get a little long-winded because like I say, this is my passion. This is the thing that I really love to do. So maybe about an hour or so I'll be here. Yeah. I'm okay. Okay, I read that one already. Let's see. Let's see. You are so welcome. Yeah, I'm excited about that. That's a beautiful thing. Happy birthday. Thank you, Memer. Murmur. Yeah, what is it? What is what? What's that question? Happy birthday, you look beautiful. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, um, with love. God, afternoon, God. Good afternoon, God. Thank you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate all of you. And so, we're going to talk about, um, certain blood types today. We're going to get into it just like, just like I normally do. <laughs> thank you, funny. <laughs> We're going to get into it, just like I normally do. So, um, let's see who we have up in here, though. If you know your blood type, where are we beginning today? Who are we talking about today? Do we have any A's, B's, A, B, O? Put it in a comment, and let's see who we have the most of, and that's what we'll begin talking about blood type and helping people along their journey. Who we got? Let's see. I see some A, A over here, A and O's. I see only one B. Okay, two Bs. Them there are going O's. Boy, oh, the O's. They just, oh, oh, the O's. Every time I do this, the O's. I see about uh, three or four over there. Five over here. Okay, I see two Bs now. 
<laughs> thank you, thank you, one cool. Team O, team O. <laughs> There's some O's in this house. There's some O's in this house. <laughs> I love them O's, boy. My sister is our age. Which one, though? Um, negative, A, B, O, B. Which one? <laughs> Which blood type? Them O's be coming true. So it look like the O's. It look like the O's. Can shake like 73. Oh, welcome. Thank you for coming back. I remember your name. Where's my A's? I know, that's what I'm saying. They be, I don't know. I don't know where the maze at. I don't know where the maze at. A, B, I believe. Oh, okay. Sleep. <laughs> they sleep. They sleep. They're the ones with the least amount. And they actually, uh, and that's really why I wanted to do stuff like this here today for like the A's because the A's produce a lot of mucus and all. And they be the most sickly ones, but they... Oh, okay, we got another A. We got about two A's up in here. Even Miss Grateful. Miss Grateful here today? Where she at? She one of my A's. She not even here. Don't mind me. A's in the house. Yeah. Okay, look like we doing O. I'm an O. A banana, blueberry, pumpkin seeds for breakfast. Had cotton, spinach for dinner. Oh, you doing the thing, lady. Look at that. Yesterday I gave that just issues and can't wait to resolve them. Oh, you had them yesterday? Yeah. Yeah, you drinking some herbal um teas that's on your list? You have the food list already. Oh here, okay, I see y'all. So y'all teaching so your teaching is good for me. Yeah, definitely. Let me get my chair right quick. Let me get my chair and I'll sit down and get started. Uh, let's see. All right, we're talking about the oils today. Y'all remember, they got coupon codes out there. Coupon codes before y'all purchase. Before y'all purchase, don't forget the coupon code. She is rich. We're manifesting wealth up in here. <laughs> I'm giving y'all coupon code. Y'all manifesting wealth up in here. Some more prosperity up in here. And I am ready. If you want the transformation course, I am ready. Coupon code happy birthday. If you want to participate in the free weight loss cheat code, the free weight loss cheat code will come in addition to getting your meal plan today. The link is in my bio, the coupon code. I no happy birthday. Happy birthday. So here we go. We're talking about the O's today. We're talking about the O's. Now y'all do me a favor. I'm not gonna be looking. I'm not gonna be looking at the um, screen. So if anybody is asking where, the, where, um, how do you get the meal plan? Y'all tell them the coupon code for me. Tell them the coupon code is happy birthday so they can get the free weight loss cheat code. Could y'all do that for me? If they asking, could y'all help while I while I help y'all, y'all help me? Y'all got that? <laughs> Happy birthday, I bought it yesterday. Oh, okay, bless you. I have everything else. Okay, good, good, good. Thank you, thank you, Elsie. Okay, so we're talking today about the old, the old of the gods, <laughs> and I say that respectfully, and I mean that, right? The old blood type is the original Anunnaki type blood. It is the oldest blood type of all humans in the physical reality. Oh, look, 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 wait. Somebody just purchased their meal plan. We had to clap for them. We got, we got sounds today, y'all. <laughs> we got sounds today. Somebody purchased their meal plan. Bless you, baby. I'm so happy for you. So, the old, oh, wait a minute, wait, wait, wait. Somebody else purchased their meal plan. I'm so happy for y'all. I love to be in a position to help other people. And it's free only while I'm here. So, it's the oldest bloodline, the Anunnaki, the God. Oh, we just gonna be clapping all day, y'all. Somebody else purchased. They got their meal plan. So, being that they're the oldest bloodline, 
if you think about them, you think of them as being the meat eater, the hunter. You think that they want the hunter to gather the one that wants to seek out its food. And this is why they eat a lot of meat. They eat a lot of meat. This is why they try to go vegan and they can't stay there because their blood, they don't know, they probably don't know this energetically, but they feel this. They probably cannot articulate it, but they feel this, a desire to eat meat. If somebody tell them go vegan, they'll probably look at them crazy. They'll go, but they'll stumble back because not only is their blood having the memory because you know the blood has memory for what you used to eat what your ancestors ate already yeah hey thank you lady the discount flow for the meal plan you have to have the meal plan plus the weight cheat uh code in your cart and the discount code is happy birthday so because the um the blood has memory it remembers it's almost like it remembers what the ancestors the gods the anunnaki was eating in that day and age right because there's nothing new underneath the sun the blood connects us to our like our pattern our dna our ancestors lifetime after lifetime you ever heard where the ancestors right and the wrong so if we steal the ancestors we we were traced back to the ancestors that was before us and being that we trace back energetically to them, our blood has the memory of them, of the things that they consume. You see where I'm going here? And so our ancestors had a high amount of hydrochloric acid inside of that gut. What is hydrochloric acid? Well, inside of your stomach, you have acids. Acids inside of your stomach is the thing that breaks down your food. And allow it to come, you know, down to the large and small intestines and the waste thereof to be expelled via your bowel. Old blood type has the most amount of hydrochloric acid. And it was designed that way because they had already been meat eaters, always. And because of this, they have a large group of meats that they should consume. If they were to become like a vegan or fruitarian, they'll still have all this hydrochloric acid up in there. And it would kind of like mess with them, cause them issues up in here, burning sensation up in here, because they're no longer eating the foods that their ancestors did that helped them with all of that extra hydrochloric acid. So the diet, the proper diet still today, lifetime after lifetime for the old bloodline would be meat eaters. And they're part in their healthiest state of being. They are lean and physically fit and have so much of strength and endurance. <laughs> they work out to release stress. They <laughs> they're just they're just these confident, powerful vessels, in my personal opinion, of experiencing them in my life. Having a child that's one, a husband that's one, you know, and seeing them out and about at the gym working and just knowing the ones that are because they're the they're they're really confident, powerful people, respectfully. However, when they don't eat right, <laughs> when they don't eat right for their blood type, that's exactly what happened when I went vegan. See there, yeah, yes we are thank you thank you thank you keep when they don't eat right oh my god <laughs> just like just like god is love there's a wrath of god that can come to and you wouldn't think that that's the same god that goes that applies to the old because when they don't eat right now they're depressed and when they are depressed and when they are stressed you better get back. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you better clear the way for the wrath of God. So what stresses them out? Diet. What causes them depression? What they put in their mouth. Why is that? Because they're destroying their superpower, their hydrochloric acid, their ability to focus and function, their mental strength and their endure physical endurance by things like bread <laughs> by things like corn by eating pork <laughs> by drinking beer 
by consuming vinegars like al apple cider vinegar, by peanuts and peanut oils. So basically, a o, if a O wants to thrive, it'll be on the straight and narrow as it pertains to eating the proper highly beneficial meats and eating the proper highly beneficial vegetables. Because there's really only nine highly beneficial fruit for the O. They have some beneficial nuts that help them with their thyroid and their brain, their cognitive thinking. They have those nuts. But dairy, bread, <laughs> because of that yeast, is things that they shouldn't even be fooling with. Because it really kind of like slow them down. And so they have health issues too because of this. You know, when they get out of when they get out of alignment with all of us, every every blood type actually, when we get out of alignment with who we are, we're more likely to experience sickness and disease. So for the old type blood, when they get out of alignment with themselves, most often than not, their issues stem from in this area because of the hydrochloric acid. So when they get out of alignment with themselves, they get a bunch of mold and yeast growing up in here because of all of the wheat that they consume. That's them being out of alignment. And it'll begin to trigger inflammation in their body. <laughs> it'll, it'll get so inflamed inside of their gut that they'll end up with peptic ulcers. They'll end up with leaky gut syndrome because of the things that they consume that was out of alignment for their blood type. They'll end up with thyroid issues because it even got toxic up in here. And so the toxicity kind of like it's just spreading up in here because thyroid issues is pretty a, much a person who is toxic and they need to do a detox, right? Because now that bread set on their chest, put out their fire. Because when you eat the wrong foods that are not in alignment with your blood type, you're actually putting out your hydrochloric acid. You're creating a breeding ground for parasites to thrive because you're consuming the wrong type of meats that have um, parasites in it. Your digestive enzymes is gonna go out the window because you, you, you're gonna be smothering them with all of this wheat, this yeast, this fungus that's up in here. So this is gonna equate to somebody with a bunch of mold sitting up in here, nothing to put the fire, put it out via the fire. With a bunch of yeast sitting up in here, inflammation sitting up in here, maybe halitosis up in here, um, thyroid issues up in here, all because they didn't eat for their blood type. So when O's um, get health issues, those are the type of health issues that they have. Um, bacteria overgrowth inside of them, improper um, thyroid function, your O negative, oh, okay, that's what's up, that's rare right there. Improper thyroid function, their um, hormones go out of balance too because it's like the signal, their signal, their life force is being depleted because their serotonin and their dopamine is on, going down, like, right? And they have a high amount of inflammation and they don't know what to do with this here. And they become highly depressed and they might want to fight because they're physically strong. <laughs> they're gods, remember? They might want to fight. They might want to cut up. They might have some people, <laughs> they might have some, and I'm not laughing at this, but it's just funny to, to kind of like say that, damn, it's all because they were eating the wrong stuff. They might have people who are old or any blood type that are out there fighting somebody, beating somebody in domestic violence or relationships or whatever, all because they're so inflamed. It makes a person turn into a freaking monster. You remember that song um, by Nicki Minaj, because I'm a monster. monster. <laughs> and that's the song right there. That, that, that'll be the intro when they out of whack. And so the fools that do this, like I said, it's going to be that wheat, that corn, that milk, the peanuts. If they're doing little protein shakes, watch out. Oh, if you're doing that whey protein, the peanut nut bars, that peanut oil, because these things are not in alignment for a moon. Oh, okay, Marilyn, that's what's up. It's a beautiful thing. These things are not in alignment with the oil. Even potatoes, 
Even potatoes for, oh, it's not alignment because it sits there and causes inflammation for them. And a lot of times they, they fitness people and they down potatoes because they believe in, oh, I gotta give them carbs. You gotta get the right ones for your blood type. And so vinegar also, vinegar and coffee actually add on to their leaky gut issue because remember, they have hydrochloric acid already so they don't need no vinegar to break down their food. They need to eat the right foods. They need to clean up the gut and begin to eat the right foods and keep the gut clean. And that way their hydrochloric acid will be their vinegar. They got the vinegar already that they need in their hydrochloric acid. And so even certain vegetables, if they're not eating the vegetables on the meal plan, the highly beneficial vegetables, they can actually impair their thyroid function by eating things like cabbage, Brussels sprouts, collard um, flour, and mustard greens. So they can't eat any of that. Yeah. They should eat the foods that are highly beneficial for them. When they hormones get out of whack, is mostly because of the wheat that they've consumed. If they are bean lover, like kidney beans, that's adding to their hormones, being out of whack, and navy beans. So, that's the inflammation. That's the thing that they need to stay away from. That's why they need to stay away from them. So, what do they need to do? Working out for them actually is a thing in the physical reality that they could do to help them release stress. To help them release stress of life, they normally go to the gym. They normally want to hit and punch against the wall, most of them. Because like I say, they're the gods. We're talking about the old city right now. Because that they're the gods. That explains my HS. Because it is inflammatory issues with getting bored. Oh, yeah. Yeah, pretty much. Just being inflamed. All of that. When you think about inflammation, when you think about being inflamed, think acids acid fire equals acid your body is in a static place acid stress brings on inflammation acids you could actually sit there and be stressed out but eat this healthy diet thinking those chaotic thoughts that's why i share this with my mindfulness page thinking those chaotic thoughts and allow yourself to become inflamed aka acetic after all of the good eating you do, you can eat everything on that list. But if you sitting there worried, you sitting there stressed out, you still going to be ecstatic. So mindfulness plays a part up in here too. So the things that re will reduce the um, inflammation in the oils will be eating the proper meats for their blood type. One... I'll mention one that's highly beneficial for them is beef. Now it might be the sound to some people who ain't uh oh, it might be sound to you that don't tell people to eat meat. <laughs> no, they you know the dead animal, you know, if you're a spiritual person, because I'm I'm spiritual and I don't I don't really fool with meat that much. Even though with my blood type I can. <laughs> but here's the thing. People be talking from their perspective. Don't let other people, based upon their perspective and their blood and their limited way of thinking, stop you from understanding yourself because we're different. All things of energy, frequency, and vibration, when we vibrate in at different frequencies, always are vibrating at another frequency. And this is why they need this, this substance for them to thrive. So be might sound it might sound crazy as a vegan or a fruitarian for me to even utter this out of my mouth. Oh, somebody brought, brought their little meal plan. Let me <laughs> got a clap for the people. We got a clap. It might sound crazy me as a fruitarian slash vegan telling them go on and eat the meat, but I'm not gonna tell you nothing from my perspective and what, what I'm doing with my life. That's me and my journey. And so you got to be mindful of when you following people and they telling you what you should do. No, they telling you what they, what they had to do from, from their perspective. And I respect and honor those before 
me but if you if you listen to the ones before me I don't I don't recall any of them drilling this thing down to blood type because blood type matters and some of the ones before that would speak about like keto diet and do this diet they come in with a hit and then people do the diet and then you don't hear nothing about it but one thing remains our blood type remains memory remains the 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 ways of our ancestor remain because there's nothing new underneath the sun so you think about your leaders that have told you things and respectfully find out based upon your blood type what how that will apply to you i say this respectfully because there are leaders that have said things about yellow dock and bird dock and sarsaparilla for the include everybody and certain blood types echinacea uh aloe vera uh peppermint you know all these things uh fenugreek they're good for some but they're not good for all blood types because some blood types will get inflamed from those things some blood types that's going to cause them to tilt over into sickness and disease so it's based upon blood type that i'm sharing this here with you not my perspective this is why you'll try because because your dna will be activated based upon the blood type not based upon i told you so remember that so to reduce inflammation in your body as a whole, there are certain um, things. First of all, stress being number one. Second of all, eating for your blood type is another, another thing. So there are certain omega-3 containing fish that's on the meal plan that will activate your body <laughs> into stopping all of them lectins it's like it'll be anti-inflammatory i teach you I, I i sell this here alchemist oil on my website today today for the alchemist oil she is rich is the um is the coupon code it's discounted it's my highly um sold product i make it i sell out of this every freaking day because people are so inflamed and there's so many things that they can do with it but it's highly anti-inflammatory highly um anti-parasitic it's highly beneficial for the body outside of doing this here you can eat the foods the that the omegas that omega threes that you need as a O to thrive daily you ain't got to be rubbing things on you all the time I could understand if you're in pain, if you work out, and, or you're oil you're pulling with it. But if you're living off of pain, um, pain medication and re revisiting that thing, that's letting you know you inflamed within. You inflamed within. Get to the core of what's in here, because this is the core to everything that you're feeling outside of here. So to reduce inflammation, omega threes, omega threes in your fish. And even in your nuts, you get omega threes in your highly beneficial nuts. And for the the O's, walnuts is highly beneficial. I spoke about this yesterday because of thyroid issues. You gotta get magnesium. You gotta get your um, selenium, and you gotta get your iodine O's. Walnuts help you with your selenium. Brazilian nut has selenium in it. That's one of the really beneficial nuts, but it ain't beneficial for you. Walnut is your nut of choice for beneficial omega trees. And this helps your body to detox. Iodine, so sea vegetables is really, really important for you too for, um, um, for detoxing your thyroid, for clearing up this particular area. So, in an effort to lose weight up, somebody purchased a meal plan. Bless you. Bless you, baby. I'm so happy for you. So to encourage a healthy microbiome in your gut, you need to, when you're cooking your foods, you need to make sure that you have old color onions. 
Onions are anti-fungal. And I'm talking about fresh onion. I know you're not the A's and you don't you don't have to have all of your stuff raw. But I would encourage you to, when you're making your meat, put the meat. You got a whole onion, right? You, you, you get the yellow, you get the purple. Even if you don't get the white, you make sure you get the one with the color. The yellow and the purple onion. So you let's say, for example, you got the yellow and the purple. You cut it in half. You chop up half of the yellow, half of the purple. You put it in there while you're baking your food. That's all cool and dandy. But you see that other half of that yellow and that purple? Don't put that into maybe five minutes before. Or don't put it in the oven at all. And you eat the rest of that yellow and purple or whatever that meal that is that you put in that oven, you eat it in its rawest form. Why am I telling you that? Because that's gonna help your healthy microbiome in your gut because onions are antifungal and you should always choose fresh onion when it just got sliced don't let an onion sit up there and, and, and mix and pull toxins out of everything in your refrigerator don't 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 do don't do that get your use your onion fresh don't cut your onion up oh or no blood type really don't cut your onion up until you're ready to use it because onions clears rooms of negative energy onions clears odors on you can take actually an onion bath and it will begin to draw fungus out of your skin your largest organ on your body so when you eat an onion when you eat an onion it's drawing out it's gathering up to you kind of like oil pulling is gathering up toxicity in your body so you want the onion in its rawest form you lay up there and cook the whole thing and now you just got you know some the onion little peel the softness of it no you want that crunch the crunch the crisp crunch like you biting into an apple with your food as your onion because inside of it the juice inside of it is the liquid the liquid antifungal that you need in your digestive system to help you if you didn't consume all of this wheat, all of this dairy, all of this corn up in here. Y'all getting me? Onions. Let me see. Um, O's can have white. Um, no, I say no, I'm not saying that. All onions are beneficial, but the yellow and the purple, you know, it goes by color. Everything is vibrating at a frequency. Everything vibrating at frequency. The white has substance, but the darker the hue, the more dominant the substance, the liquid that's gonna clean up in here. Go wild out, get the white one too, but just make sure you don't forget about that yellow and that purple. <laughs> the yellow and that purple. Everything color coded for a reason. Just like your peppers, your peppers coincide with um, the chakra pools of energy on your body. The root chakra being red, then your sacral chakra orange, the solar plex being yellow, the heart green. So all color peppers are beautiful. They they provide silica, which is a cousin of carbon, which black people, carbon people, all people need because we're all expressions of the carbon footprint. And so those colors in peppers actually help you with your lower chakra self, your temptation, your creativity, your survival, your, your, your power, your will, your heart cleaning out your blood. So all of these things in the physical reality, color coded, but the darker the color, just like people in the physical reality, the more darker the color, the more they can stand outside and tolerate the sun, right? So I respect color. I just respect the color. <laughs> Because I understand all things are energy, frequency, and vibration. That's all I'm saying. And the darkness is the darkness. It's the most powerful color because that's the darkness that we all stem from. And so I apply that with my food too, you know. And so when you think about it, the um, things on most meal plans that cause people to suffer will be things that are of a lighter hue, you know, like bread like um milk like um potatoes for some blood types you know so just be mindful of that let me see you're welcome yeah brooklyn i gained so much info from your life so thank you yeah i got a whole universe up in here <laughs> yeah yeah let me see i had 
cut an onion and put it under my feet and slept through the night. It's detoxing as well. Yeah, like if you have a cold or something, you, uh, you know, you got your nerve endings, you have nerve endings in the palm of your hand, and you have nerve endings in the sole of your feet. So like putting, um, clapping your hands, stomping your feet, actually kind of like get your lymphatic system moving, especially if you're like you're obese or you can't really work out. You could start that to get some blood flowing and that lymphatic system flowing. But putting like, um, some people even put like banana peels and stuff in their hand and tape it around to get, you know, potassium and different things. If you put things on the palm of your hand or the sole of your feet, like onion down there, some people even try to put garlic in a sock down there, you know, to, pull draw out toxins and stuff that works because you're reaching all of your nerve endings so that's why you should be mindful of what you put in on your body too because your skin is the largest organ being mindful with them edge of people rubbing on your legs and putting on the bottom of your feet what is that oil what kind of oil is that is that canola oil is that peanut oil you know because you know companies like to use shortcuts and stuff are they rubbing peanut oil on you oh when you go get your pedicure because if so, that's causing you inflammation. That's what you could you could clearly tell people, no, no. Or you could bring your own oil. And I don't like people rubbing stuff that I don't know what the heck it is because I just know too much. Like, what? What's that clear stuff? Uh-uh. No. I don't want to leave mashy. I got, I got lotion at home. <laughs> but that's just me. Let's see. Can old E. Greg, Greg what was that? I missed something. Let's see. Well, not not any. I'm allergic to nuts as well. Not all not lust for your blood type. If you if you can't tolerate the nut for your blood type, that's letting you know your digestive um, enzymes are out of whack. Um, what about what? wild garlic? I heard of black garlic and and um and white garlic. What 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 color is the wild garlic? Um, the blacker the berry, the sweeter the juice, you know? Yeah, yeah, Stephen. Can old eat red, green, and orange peppers? Yeah, yeah. What about turkey? Turkey is neutral for old. Um, the best oil to cook with. The best oils to cook with, the olds have the most amount of oils that they can cook with. It's available on a meal plan for the olds. The highly beneficial oils, the link is in my bio for the meal plan of all of the beneficial oils for the oils. They have the most amount because oils for, for the oils, the oils give them their omega threes. The oils actually soothe this particular area. The oils actually lubricate this particular area too to help with that bread and that corn and that mucus or whatever to get that stuff to slide on down to the large and small intestines. Oils are very beneficial. So to increase their, their tissue mass, beef, I told you that was one of the highly beneficial meats that they can consume. Beef actually makes the old happy, right? It's the funniest thing, but it's so true because it's increasing their dopamine and their serotonin levels, right? To encourage proper thyroid, sea vegetables, seasoning your, I'm talking about like the, the um, the sea vegetables that they use for like sushi wraps and things like that inside a sea vegetable is iodine i just was sharing that with you iodine is so important for the old and i shared earlier the um iodine shake seasoning that i purchased which is good for my blood type too bees it's good for all blood types iodine um sea vegetables and so when you begin to just at least shake that on your food that's going to help to detox your thyroid because the thyroid needs iodine as the blood circulating and sweeping in there they have to be some traces of iodine in the body at least the thyroid function goes womp, womp, womp. and you suffer you suffer with either hyper or you suffer with hypo thyroid issues when you are toxic and your body is hunting looking for iodine but you ain't giving it to it because you eat so much bread and suffocating it and bread ain't got it the bread got everything that your body as an old 
don't need. So I would encourage you, if you're old, that you start making lettuce. You can still have make the burger, but take that bread off of there. Use your lettuce to wrap that. Use you some sea vegetables to wrap that. Use you some grape leaves to wrap that burger and consume that burger like it is because that's the inside of the burger is you. That's what you need. That's what you try for. The bread just gonna slow you down. At least start taking the top bun off if you thinking, oh, I gotta have bread. At least start taking top bun. Instead of two, have one. Cut back on it because it don't give you no life force. It make you depressed, it make you tired, it make you gain weight, it make you have thyroid issues. Cut back on the thing that's causing you inflammation. Y'all tap the screen. We on a, um, we, 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 we about to give. We on a break. It's offering time. It's offering time. I'm giving this information and y'all got me over here. I just noticed it. I got 4,000 likes. I, I've been talking for almost, what, 45 minutes or so? 4,000 likes. Come on now. It's my birthday too. Come on now. Come on now. You got to give. You got to give back. When people are giving to you, learn how to give back. Learn how to give back, babe. Let's get them likes up. I'm about to take me a break. Give me something to drink. Let's get them likes up and then we'll finish talking to the olds about some other things that they can do. Let's get them likes up. Let's get them likes up, man. I'm here on my birthday blessing y'all. I want some likes today. <laughs> I'm going to give me some likes today. We're going to have a good time today. <laughs> I got my little sound effects, y'all. We're going to smile today. We're going to laugh today. I just, this just tickles my soul. Since y'all since y'all not even tapping the screen, I'ma have me some laughter on my own. Y'all not gonna make me low frequency. I'ma have me some good old laughter. I got people clapping for me. <laughs> there you go, grateful. Look. That's that's my inner being clapping for me, y'all. This how you this helping me stay in alignment. This helping me stay in alignment right here, boy. Get them likes up. Let's get up there. Oh, look, wait, wait, wait. Somebody gave me a heart. I've got to give you a kiss back. <laughs> I got sound effects. I'm excited. Thank you for the birthday wishes. I'm going to thank you, thank you. Let's get us both pages. We can get up to 10,000 likes on my birthday today. Yeah, we're going to press, we gonna press them buttons. Anybody up in here that don't know their blood type, go to Amazon. You need to know your blood type. The Eldon, E L D O N, at home kiss. Kit, um, kit, wait a minute. I got another heart. <laughs> oh my God, I'm childish, y'all. I'm really, really childish. I love stuff like this. But you gotta bring out the little girl or the little boy inside of you. It wants to come out to play. And mine coming out to play today, boy. So if y'all ask them questions that I can't understand, what y'all talk about, y'all gonna get one of this. One of these right here. <laughs> Wait, I got another rose. Wait, hold on. Wait a minute. <laughs> Thank you for the rose, babe. <laughs> Thank you for the rose. We there yet? We at seven. We at seven. Come on, y'all. This is my birthday. I want me some likes today. That's what I want for my birthday. That's what I want. Give me some likes. Let me be in a position to help other people. You gotta do like that with your shoulder when, when you get a gift. Yeah. <laughs> oh, wait, 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 I gotta love it. Wait. <laughs> I love it. I love it. <laughs> Let me tell y'all something. I'm a, I'm a really childish and calling little person. Yeah. If y'all wasn't here I'm, last night when I found this thing, I was just sitting up in the kitchen just playing with this thing by myself. My partners came <laughs> and passed. Like, what the hell are you doing? I was like, look, I'm gonna use this for my birthday. I found it, and I feel so happy. And it just walked past me. Shit, <laughs> because I like to be childish. Y'all can be hard with y'all self if y'all want to. Thank you, sunshine. Y'all can be hard with y'all self. Y'all can make life hard and not feel like a game, but it's a game to me. I'm playing to win. And ain't no low frequency, no situation gonna bring me 
to a low point where I'm going backwards. I'm getting to higher levels up in here. So if y'all sick and y'all don't want to laugh, I'm going to laugh by myself. <laughs> You got to laugh even when you feel like crying. You got to manipulate this energy. Transform your own energy. Because life is happening through you, not to you. And I, oh, wait a minute, somebody just bought their meal plan. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. I feel so proud of you, babe. I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy, y'all. I'm so happy. Life is so beautiful. Life is so beautiful. When you look at the good, when you start to pay attention to the good, you get more of it. You get more of it. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. That's how this thing called life goes. All right, we are, we there yet? We at 9.6 over here. We at 8.3 over here. Let me drink my water. Y'all almost there. Let me drink. Oh, wait, I didn't manipulate my water. Wait, I can't drink regular water on my birthday. Y'all know how to manipulate your water, right? Y'all know how to do that? Well, if you don't know, you're about to learn how to manipulate your water in case you're new here. In case you're new here, I'm about to show you something. We're manipulating energy. That's what we're here for. We're gods in physical form, and that's what we do. We manipulate energy. So, we just got a water. Oh, we at the 10 yet? Okay, we're at 10 over here. We're at 8.8 .8 over here. They have 47 people. Yes, it is. With key lime. Yeah, well, key lime first thing in the morning. Sometimes you go, I put key lime in my water bottle. But I drunk some key lime um, aid already. I normally do that. I have key lime aid already. But what I'm about to do, come on, we're at nine. Well, I'll wait till y'all get to the nine. What I'm about to do outside of the um, key lime is manipulate my water and give me some alkalizing electrolyte filled water. And I'm gonna show you how you do that. Even for the um, O's, this is good for you too, O's, if you up in here. We almost there, we're at 9.3. All right, thank you, um, God is just B page. Y'all already there. Offering time over for y'all. Wait, let me give you a hand clap. <laughs> I'm so proud of you, babe. <laughs> so wait a minute. Are we there? 9.6 over here. Oh, God, is just be healthy. Are we there? 9.7. We almost there. We almost there. 9.8. Wait a minute. Wait, I got it. We're going to do some kisses afterwards. We're going to do some kisses. We there. What? <laughs> Wait, one more. <laughs> I love it. So, this is a regular bottle of water that I should have drunk when I was on my break for offering time, but I wanted to wait for y'all to get there. I appreciate the um, taps to the screen. So, spring water, any spring water, no reverse osmosis water, no distilled water, spring water. And the one that I get is Bob's Red Mill um, baking soda, but this is my bulk one that I got from Amazon. So, this is a different brand. This is um, a one gallon. Just make sure your baking soda is organic. And don't have aluminum in it it could be bob's red meal or this one here i don't see the name of these people but the little image is this little this little leaf up here at the top so that's what it, this one here looked like but i buy you know in bulk because i'd be making all kind of stuff so anyway just a pinch just one little pinch one little pinch of baking soda in your water you see that growing up in here? Baking soda. Baking soda. Then we got some gray. Gray salsic salt. Remember I told you about color or hue. Color. White salt only have two minerals. Sodium and chloride. Colored salt have 80 plus minerals to electrify your electric body and your electrolytes are in here, right? So, to manipulate my water, I add Alright. I add a little pinch. And people be laughing at me how I say pinch, but y'all know what I'm talking about. A little pinch of um salt and my water. Now what did I do? What did I do? Oh wait, somebody just purchased their meal plan. <laughs> I'm so happy for you. So what did I do with that there? Uh-oh. What did I do? 
Anybody know? Anybody know what this is? What, what, why I'm doing this? I'm playing games. I have nothing better to do. What's the answer? Does anybody know? Somebody didn't see me do that before. Somebody. <laughs> Baking soda and gray salt to sea salt. Yes. So what did I do? What did I do? I provided electrolytes. Sunday says yes. Yes. Where are we at over here? Oh, they have a lot of. Okay, I alkalized my water. Right. So that's what I just showed you, or I'm teaching you now. I alkalize my water because what alkalizes the water? What alkalizes our water? I want I want to know that you know. What alkalizes our water? Uh huh. Okay. Okay. Yeah. The minerals and the baking soda. Baking soda increases the alkalinity in water. Yes, there you go. And so, if you know this to be true, I had, um, on my other house, I have a pool, right? And I had to take care of the pool, you know, during off season, because I wanted to, because nothing was going on and, and I wanted to understand it. In understanding a swimming pool, I understood my body. Because remember, life is happening through us. Everything out here is an expression of us. Energy, frequency, and vibration, right? So the pool has to stay in balance. There was a moment when my pool got green like the Incredible Hulk. But guess what? It was alkalized. It was alkalized. It had a high pH balance. So what did I have to do when it got green, but yet my pH of it was still alkaline? I had to put um, the muriatic acid inside of it. I had to clean out the cells. And so it, it started to make sense. So when I put my muriatic acid up in there, it would help with, you know, eat up all of that green slime and stuff, you know? After that, I would have to add my minerals. So I would put my, my salts up in there because I had a salt, I have a salt system on that particular pool. So I had to put my minerals up in there, my salts. Because the acid brought it down of the pH and then the minerals brought it back up. And then I have to put a little bit of sodium bicarbonate, baking soda, to balance everything back off again. Right? This is my swimming pool. Right? So this is showing you how my swimming pool was teaching me how to take care of me. You know, I was already on this journey. I'm like, dang, that's really, really impressive. So in lieu of the muriatic acid that I put in the swimming pool, I need key lime. And key lines work inside of me to clean out my liver and my kidneys. They filter me just like the muriatic acid in the swimming pool is filtering the cells over there and getting rid of that green slime. So that's why I teach you all to have key lines, right? What is the name of the salt? Celtic sea salt, gray Celtic sea salt. And so then I, in the swimming pool, I had to put, I had to put some, some salt in my swimming pool just like i teach you with your water put some salt up in there because that's where you get your electrolytes from electrolytes your minerals this is what it looked like you could get it from amazon it looked like this here celtic make sure you get the one with color you see right here light gray light gray the word's probably backwards for you but that's a light gray celtic light gray you need some color up in your life get some color not the white one the light gray and so salt gives you us our electrolytes. Remember I talked to you about hydrochloric acid. If you were O and yours put out, you need to replenish them. You replenish your hydrochloric acid by the proper salts with the proper minerals and the proper electrolytes inside of it. This is why you shouldn't be drinking no reverse osmosis water, you know, distilled water, because it's been stripped of everything and you need your salts. That's why you need spring water. And then on top of that, you got baking soda. Baking soda increases the alkalinity in your body. So inside of your gut, you have your acids. You got acids in your gut. You need to drink salt or have sea salt in your water because that acid needs to be replenished if you eat egg bread in the past. That's the kind of stuff. Pancakes, muffins, put your little hydrochloric acid out. You also need your baking soda for the lining of your gut. 
the lining of your gut so that the acids that's inside of your stomach won't burn you all over your body. The lining of your gut has a barrier. It's made of vacant soda, sodium bicarbonate, so that the acids stay in there. If that barrier is compromised, then acids come out, that food come out, hence leaky gut, hence inflammation, <laughs> and hence that burning sensation you'll feel in your stomach when them acids are now exposed or open because you didn't take care of the lining with the proper sodium bicarbonate keeping the lining built up. So that's why I manipulate my water like that. This is what spring water is. You go to the grocery store, if you don't, if you're a dead beat outer, and you look on, you turn Evian, which is a nice, beautiful, balanced water. Evian has silica in there, which I talked about, where you could get from your, the cousin of carbon, where you could get from your, um, your colored peppers that I was just mentioning. Evian has silica up in here. Evian has magnesium. Well, guess what? This here salt in lieu of um, pink Himalaya sea salt, gray Celtic salt is high in magnesium. Evian is a perfect balance. I, I think the Evian is maybe 7.3 or somewhere, 7 point something. It's in the sevens. Anyway, your balance of your body should be around 7.35. So Evian is right there. You don't need them, them, them old waters that's eight, nine, and 10. Where's you going? Now your stomach got to buffer that thing that back down. That's man-made waters. They, they're getting you over on you with the water. I'm trying to save you some money and get your gut right at the same time. They're getting over you. So yeah, I'm hopeful that you're listening. So Evian, good balance. It has electrolytes because it has salt in there. It has silica up in there, hence your salt has silica. It has magnesium up in there and it has sodium bicarbonate in there. You turn it around and you could read this for yourself. Next time you go to the grocery store, I ain't telling you to buy it. I'm telling you to read it because that is a good bottled water that actually has been known to help people that are in cancerous states of being. Why is that? Because of that magnesium, that silica. People that have cancer, people that have diabetes, people that have high blood pressure, they be low in magnesium. Magnesium is needed in every organ in the body. They could have got them from their vegetables, right? But that lets you know that their diet ain't up to par because they could have got them in their vegetables for their blood type. Even if they didn't eat vegetables, they could have been getting it in their water, but they're not drinking good water. They're probably drinking a water like this here without manipulating it like this here. Because each swallow that I take, I get all of mine. And I'm teaching you how to empower yourself. Buy them cases of spring where it's already purified, supposedly spring water. That's what they say on the label anyway. But you manipulate it from its point to what you want it to be to work for you and your family. You do this to all of the bottles of water. That's what I do. And I put them in that refrigerator and everybody in the house know, oh, my water was open because because she manipulated it. Because you're going you gonna to get these mag minerals today. You're going to get these, <laughs> these um, electrolytes today up in here. Now you go out there, you, you, you wild out and don't transform your energy. But up in here, I transform energy. And you should do this here for your loved ones. O's, you need this. You need this for your gut. You need this for that fungus if you've been, if you um, strayed away from eating for your blood type. You need these electrolytes. All right, what brand of baking soda do you use? Um, Bob, Bob's Red Mill. Bob's Red Mill. I normally have, oh wait, I see one. Here you go. This is the one that I normally use instead of that big one all of the time. This is the one that I normally use. It look like this here. You can get it from Amazon. Bob, that says if it's backwards for you, that's a Bob. Bob's Red Mill, and I'll put it over here on this page too. Bob's Red Mill. See, it's organic. Y'all saw that at the bottom? You see it? Now, this is not the 99 cent Arm & Hammer. I'm not telling y'all. Somebody put that in the comment. No Arm & Hammer. Could somebody type that in the comment? Because I ain't tell you that. Yeah. No Put this in the bottle of water. Yeah, a pinch, just a pinch. Could somebody write that? I need at least one person to write that. No arm and hammer. No arm and hammer. Somebody. Thank you. 
Don't you put no army hammer in your in your water. If you do, don't you tell nobody I told you to do that. I did not say that. Yeah, army hammer has aluminum in it. Thank you so much, Mona. Thank you so much. Wait a minute. Let me wait. That's for you, Mona. We copy for you. <laughs> Mona said don't do that. So don't be cheap with yourself. You get you some organic one. Now this here gonna be about 10 times the little 99 cent arm and hammer, but guess what? It's healthier. You deserve it. Your family deserve it. You're gonna, you're gonna have that for a while. It's gonna last you because you're only putting pinches. That's gonna last you for a long time. Yeah. We don't want to have too much aluminum inside of our body because we be trying to detox our body from aluminums, from heavy metals. Too much of it causes our body to become toxic. It could cause us to get to a cancerous state is the answer to that, Amber. Okay? So that's how you manipulate the water. So moving on, we're on the O's. Um, and... Hmm... Consumption of um, animal proteins can actually result in the blood becoming more thick and in impairing your circulation and increasing the, um, the wrong type rather, increasing your cardiovascular disease if you consume like pork. Congratulations, whoever that was that purchased the meal plan, congratulations to you. And so you turn your animal protein when you consume it into muscle. Right? So when you begin to change your diet and begin to eat right for your blood type, I'm telling you this here because you're gonna get fit and lean and lose weight immediately. They are actually some O's, I don't know because they're gods and everything, that they like to be thick. They don't like to see themselves lean. But I, so I wanted to forewarn you of that. The weight is going to come off of you, all right? So, let's see. You are also highly sensitive to chemicals. We were talking just a minute ago about aluminum. You're highly sensitively sensitive to the chemicals on the meat. So I highly suggest that you clean your meat and get organic grass-fed meat if you can. If you can't, clean your meat. And you clean your meat by putting some water, putting it in water to clean, because you know meat, Meat has like formaldehyde and all kind of different things on top of it to keep it looking, you know, pinky or ready or whatever, like, right? So you want to clean it in some water with lemon, coconut vinegar, and the alchemist oil. That's how I clean all of mine. Put in them three things together. I'll put like three to five drops of the alchemist oil in that water with that meat and I'll let it sit. And I'll let that stuff just lift off of there and then I'll rinse it again. Why are we doing this? Because lemon actually <laughs> I'm sorry y'all. I don't I don't like meat. I'm in my mind I was thinking about a sink full of meat and it kind of made me nauseous for a minute. <laughs> lemon would actually lift off all of the bacteria off of the meat, right? The vinegar would actually strip it a little bit heavier, right? Because vinegar can be a cleaning agent, right? Right to strip thing. The alchemist oil is anti-fungal, antiviral, anti-parasitic, antimicrobial. So the alchemist oil is going to be the thing that will kill parasites inside of the meat if they have a bunch of parasites in there. They're going to begin to come out. Some people like to freeze that meat and just leave the parasite in the freezer to die. I think that's nasty, but that's just my program and I don't want to project on you, but I just think it's nasty to do that. I like to clean that stuff first, kill the parasites, make sure that they did, season it up, then put it in a freezer for whenever I'm going to serve it. But the Alchemist oil today is available on my website. I think I have a few left. I heard the clicking. I'm, I might have a few left. But the coupon code for today, only why I'm live for the Alchemist oil, is she is rich. <laughs> she is rich. She is rich. I'm manifesting up in here. 
She is rich. Okay, we have a couple. We have a couple of alchemist oil left. I just refreshed the screen. I have a couple left. So the alchemist oil is one of my highest selling products because people it's so diverse. People can do so many different things with it. So for the oils, clean your meat. You gotta clean your meat. Chop up some cilantro with your meat too. Cilantro is a heavy metal remover. It'll remove the heavy metals, aluminum, mercury, and all these different things from fish and meat that may be stuck in the old food when you ain't know how to clean it. Right? So, so those are the sicknesses. Those are the, some of the things that you can do to avoid the sickness and disease, to avoid this, this mass growing inside of here. But parasitic parasites will be destroyed once you consume your oils that's on the meal plan and even on the meal plan there's a herbal potion which consists of your highly beneficial oil your highly beneficial herbs and your highly beneficial sweetener which is agave so when you put your oil and your herbs and your agave together in that concoction that you get on the seven meal plan on page three what you're going to be doing is lubricating your liver lubricating your gut lubrication allows for your digestive enzymes so think about this think about it like this if you have inflammation you're on fire you have acids so if you put oils your highly beneficial oils that's going to give you your omega trees you're going to be soothing the acids and now you're going to be getting back to more of the alkaline state if there's parasites inside of that lining now those beneficial herbs are going to draw them out just for example when i was using the alchemist oil on one of my tiktoks I put, I put it on the, the, the cod, that was a cod fish that I was using that I had never tasted in my life. And after I seen that big eggs parasite, I guess I ain't gonna never have cod in this lifetime. Anyway, <laughs> I, when I put the alchemist oil and those herbs on top of that fish, the parasite came sticking out, started wiggling because it couldn't take the herbs right so being that your concoction your potion have your highly beneficial herbs and your oil it's going to lubricate that area it's going to make it uncomfortable for parasites to thrive and it's going to expel and kill them things and now it's going to come out of your bowel parasites like to lay inside of here you can keep in mind we had an environment that is you know full of yeast if we were eating pancakes biscuits and we all guilty of this year bread pancake biscuit you know a bunch of potatoes whatever we get this candida yeast overgrowth anytime you got yeast and stuff up in there you got some parasites you got some gnats you got some flies somewhere hanging around and so what the parasite would do it is it'll get into the nook and cranny inside of your digestive um stuff system and it will like hook on hook on so it could get your minerals or your nutrients meanwhile it builds a lipid coated protection or shield around itself so that you when you eat certain things you won't mess with it so it could grow and it have a whole sack his whole family the whole parasite kingdom up in here a whole sack inside of your gut just wilding out and so oils your highly beneficial oils your omega trees are the things that you need to open or burst through that lipid coating sac that them parasites them built and then once you have the oil penetrating since you have your potion your potion gonna have the herbs in it that's gonna make them uncomfortable when their lipid coating sac burps so now they're uncomfortable now you have the anti-parasitic oil aka your alchemist oil in there destroying them and killing them but you have to get past the sack first so even if you just use this by yourself and use your your carrier oil of olive oil and dilute this and consume it and swallow this that's why this is an anti-parasitic by itself because the olive oil is going to get past the lipid coating and the clove and the oregano up in here is going to make the environment inevitable for any parasite to thrive they're gonna die and they children but the thing about parasites is that they lay eggs and larva and they secrete while they're dying so that they can have life cycles this is why it's so important to be on a health journey for at least 30 days to get to the core of all the little critters the little babies 
the little eggs that they secreted when you was trying to kill it. This is why anything less than 30 day detox ain't really getting to the core of your real issue in your gut. And this is something that your doctor ain't gonna tell you. If you have cancer, if you have diabetes, if you have high blood pressure, if you have lupus, guess what? At the core, you have parasites. <laughs> Sorry to be the bearer of the bad news on my birthday, but you have parasites. And you must get them parasites out and you must create an environment where your beneficial bacteria is better than your unbeneficial. And that's where the agave in that potion comes in at. Because agave will help you with your prebiotic beneficial bacteria in your gut. So you're going to have bacteria. You're going to have some in your body because we are bacteria. We're made of bacteria, right? But it becomes a havoc on your system when your bad bacteria is beating the crap out of all of the good. So that's when you get the yeast overgrowth. That's when you get the sickness and disease. That's when you get the food cravings. That's when everybody, everything is out of balance and life is about a healthy balance. Y'all getting this here? And mucus, yeah. What does the oil, oil taste like? The alchemist oil? It tastes like oregano and clove. It tastes like herbs, but it has a tingling sensation. It's it's flavorful, actually. I actually cook with it in my food. Like when I'm making maybe maybe um some turkey necks for um my family, cause I, I don't eat meat that much. But maybe if I'm making some sp vegan spaghetti, like it, it gives it an extra little spice and a little extra little kick. So I put it in things that I want to be a little bit more spicy. If I'm making like kidney beans, things like that, that I want a little flavor kick to, it's oregano and clove. It is the world's most powerful antioxidant oregano though. So it's really, really powerful in its, in its level, in its potency. And clove, clove they used to use in dentistry. This is why it's also good for oil pulling. They use clove in dentistry for numbing and pain. So that's where the pain reliever inside of it is coming from. Together, combined, clove and oregano, no, will destroy parasites. It'll destroy any type of sickness and disease if you consume it the proper way. And continue on flushing it out because you got to drink the right waters, flushing it out of your system. Don't take none of these things or no detoxes and don't have you no know, key limes ever to help assist you to get this stuff out of you because this stuff gonna start dying inside of you and if you backed up and don't go to the bathroom already then now you got dead parasites inside of you now you're feeling stuffed you know you're feeling swole make sure you're consuming key lime every blood type needs key lime in their life key lime or lemon why is that because that is helping you with your acids that's helping you get rid of that lactic acid, that uric acid, any type of um, toxicity. It's pulling the liquids out, the liquids, the clean up system, the back up for the blood. The lymphatic system creates little, it gets a little swole when it catch something. What it's saying is that's like when people's tonsils get swollen, the lymphatic system doing that because it found toxins. And what it's saying is, hey, I got it. I got it. It's right here. I trapped it right here. That's what your lymphatic system is saying. But you, you, the one that's looking at me, you, you're the operant power. You have to give the lymphatic system what it needs when they say that. And what it needs is your help. <laughs> you help getting that clump, that mucus, that toxin out, delivered to vitamin adrenal glands all the way down to them kidneys so you can urinate that thing out. Can't go back into the blood. It's stopping it from going into the blood for you. It has to go out via your kidneys. So if you ain't drinking water, the right kind of water, if you ain't drinking no key limes or no lemons, that's going to loosen that, break it up, make it dissolve into a little tiny particle so it ain't no longer swole, make it go down and travel to where it needs to go to get up out of there, then you're calling yourself this ease. For the lack of knowledge for yourself because that's how your body works you go to the doctor and the doctor tell you something about you know oh ain't nothing in your blood we couldn't find anything there are people that go to the doctor every day and they're like oh 
It ain't not in your blood. Of course it's not. It's in your lymph. It's in your lymphatic system. Good job. But it, this is when sickness and disease come. When you don't clean out your lymph. Because its job is to clean your blood. It's doing its job. But when it get backed up, now you got them crinkles. Now you got, you know, you swole, you know, in your leg. Now you got the gout. Yeah. Because you didn't clean out your lymphatic system. Get to know yourself. Because getting to know yourself is getting to know God. So you drink you some key limes or some lemonade. And you drink the proper waters. That's the foundation of all of this here that I'm talking about. If you don't learn this here, you're still going to be full of crap. Because the stuff ain't going to come out. In every meal plan, I suggest some lemons up in there. Some key limes up in there. I personally wrote those meal plans. And if you're not doing those things right there. If you're not taking advantage of your teas and your um, fruit drinks that I put on that meal plan. And you drinking distilled water. What is you doing with yourself? Knowledge is power, y'all. I want y'all to get this right. I want everybody to be healthy. Because there ain't no reason why we need to be spending up all, my, all our money up in here. I spent so much money. I spent so much money at a young age going back and forth to the doctor, y'all. And them doctors never told me this. I decided one day in my life, I'm, I told my doctor... <laughs> her, her name was Miss Blessing. <laughs> Bless her heart. I told that lady, I said, you know what? You ain't about to get this was a day. This is why this is my passion. This was a day that um this lady was trying to give me some antidepressants because the medicine that she gave me wasn't working for me. I was on fire. I had so much inflammation. And the medicine was that she gave me didn't work. And I told her, I said, ma'am, look, get, 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 get don't, don't, don't put that on my chart. Get that off of there. And I, she was like, what, what, what do you mean, Miss Rie? <sighs> yeah, I keep you coming back just to get your money. She said, what do you mean, Miss Rie? I said, don't put that on my chart. You put that on my chart. And I'm trying to, I'm thinking in my mind, let me be calm now, because this lady just gave you crazy meds now. Be calm now. You don't want the people to put you on a third floor. So I'm like, respectfully, ma'am, don't put that on my chart. Don't, you, 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 you about to make me crazy, ma'am. Don't put that on my chart. I don't want to come up in here. And every time I come up in here, they ask me if I took my crazy meds. Don't put that on my chart, lady. Don't, don't, don't do that now. I'm being nice. Take, lady, take that off my chart. Take it off. Ain't nothing wrong with my mind. Just like, okay, you don't want to get that? Okay, we're going to remove it. You don't have to get that one filled. You okay? I was like, no, I'm not okay. And evidently you can't figure out what's wrong. So I'm going to stop coming up in here. I'm going to stop. She's like, well, what are you going to do, Miss Rie? It's like, I don't know what I'm going to do. But I know this one thing. I'm not going to continue to be your lab rat. That's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to continue to be your lap rat. And so this is why this is so important to me. This is why this is so passionate to me. Because I stand here representing a version of myself that's out there. That's going back and forth to the freaking doctor. That's experiencing sickness and disease. I did the work for her. And I want to help her. I want to help save her. I want to help her to know that she ain't crazy. I want to help. To let her know something that doctors never told me before. I'm going to help her. And that's why I be telling y'all to tap the screen and stuff. Because I want to save her. And especially if she looks like me. Come from a background like me. I want to be her helper. To save herself. And so I walked up out of there. And I cried. I cried. I cried. I cried. Because I, I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But I knew I wasn't crazy though. I knew I wasn't crazy. Nobody ever told me. This was the thing. When I was walking to the parking garage of the hospital. This is when I lived in New Orleans, Louisiana. I was walking to the parking garage of the hospital. And it dawned on me. Dang. All this time, nobody asked me what I was eating. And so, days later, I went home. And, and you know, it was, it was just on my mind. I, I, I wasn't eating. I was inflamed. I was just sleeping all during the day. Because I had thyroid issues. And I, I lay down and I 
God, and you know, I had gotten me some strength from a nap. Naps would have always helped to reset me. I just napped my whole day going life away. Weekends come and I was sleeping till four and five o'clock in the evening because I was so mentally drained and fatigued. The weekends would just sleep days for me. But I got me some strength and I went up in the kitchen and I cleaned out my cupboard and I cleaned out my freezer of all of the meats and all of the foods. <laughs> And I told my family, I was like, you know, I'm throwing this here stuff away. You know, trying to, trying to, you know, you need to be trying to help people while you, you know, going through your little phases. That's why I say, you know, you just stay in alignment. Don't worry about the people because it's your journey. And I told my family, I was like, I'm throwing this stuff away because I mean, I don't know what I'm going to eat. But it got to be something with this food. It got to be something that I'm putting in my body because I'm just, it's just, it's just not right. I'm not normal. I'm in pain. And, I, and the doctor's trying to tell me that I'm crazy and this and that and the third. And <laughs> thinking that my family would be like, oh, yeah, maybe we need to start eating healthy. Or da, 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 da. They was like, you put it in the trash already? Wait, I'm on my way. What you got? You got pork? <laughs> you got cold drinks? And so the, the family just came over to, you know, to grab all of the trash, right? <laughs> thank you for, thank you for my gift. Thank you for my gift, babe. So the family came over to grab all of the trash. And I'm like, that was not the reason why I told you that. But I let them take it. And I cried and I cried. And at that time I wasn't spiritual. So being that I wasn't spiritual, I um <laughs> I prayed. I prayed and I said, thank you, babe. I prayed and I said, God intervene, Jesus. Don't I didn't know I was I was on my way from religion to spirituality. I didn't even know who to pray to, y'all. I said, Jesus, though, Shadrach, Meshach, Bendigo, higher self, energy, Yahshua, Yahweh, I don't know your name. I don't know nothing no more. I don't know. I don't know. But I know that there is a power. I know that I'm talking to something that has been with me. I don't know what I'm doing here, but, but could you help me? I don't, I don't know. I mean, if this means that I'm dying, I surrender. Bless you, baby, for whoever purchased. I'm so happy for you. If this means that I'm dying, I'm surrendering. Oh, my God. I did not go away and cry for my birthday. If it means I'm dying, I surrender. Because I understand to live is to die. But I surrender now. But if I'm going to live, I'm asking you to help me each day. I'm asking you why I'm always sick. What, what, what did I did? I was always in church. I always gave. I always loved. I was in a choir. I was a treasure. I was a camera girl. I was a pastor's assistant. Could you have mercy on me? Because it's my turn. Here I am. I need healing. Could you help me? <laughs> that was my prayer to my inner being. My, my God. Like, right? And I didn't even know <laughs> what I was going to eat. But I went to the store and I started recording my son. That's where the transformation course comes in at. My son, my oldest son, went with me, with, me, with me to the stores, the whole food stores, the Asian markets. And he would come and record me because I was learning and I was growing. But this is why I always say, ask your subconscious mind. Because God never asks himself a question that he or she don't know already know the answer to. Believe it or not, every time I ask, I got my answer. Whether it was in a dream, whether it was in this hunch, I got my answer. I began to volunteer at Farmer's Market. 
I ran into my guru who was a gardener and had a whole garden. He worked at the garden center and he had a garden at his home and he took me underneath his wing and he taught me so many different things about health and wellness, right? But every time I would ask myself a question, I got my answer. And this, this is at this time, I didn't know this was my inner being. I didn't know. I'm just thinking, you know, oh, oh, that was a coincidence. Oh, I'm lucky. Oh, oh. <laughs> so I became my savior for myself. And that's why I encourage you, don't you follow me. You follow your internal GPS on how you feel because how you feel matters. And you have an inner being too that walks with you and talks with you and guides you. To your greatness because there's greatness inside of you you really think to the core that i'm coming here on my birthday talking to you in an effort because of what you put it in your mouth no i'm here today because i know who you are i'm here today because i know that there's gods out there i love the o's because i know that you are god in physical form I love the A's, the B's, the A-B's because I know you are two expressions of God too. Just vibrating at different frequencies. I know that all is God. And sometimes in our journey, we have these stumbling blocks, these, these situations that make us say, where is God? Guess what? He's right there. God is right there. God is right here. But sometimes we get so low by the chaotic things in this physical reality. We think this stuff really real when it's only God's walking around experiencing themselves. When we get real, real sick, we, 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 we our faith, our faith be so shaky that we can't close our mind and tap into our power and instantly manifest the healing. So we got to go through these things. We got to manipulate the food. We got to go towards the food that are higher like frequency for healing of our body. When we at our greatest self, we, we vibrate way higher than the herbs and the spices. We have dominion over all of that stuff. But we get so low. We get so addicted and we create these, these bonds, these emotional bonds with food. And now we got to go to the plant. Plant, could you could you save me? <laughs> Plant, because I know I know you can save me energetically. This is how I know because you all you have to do is sit there in the soil and be still and know that you God. <laughs> you just sit there, you surrender. Here, my life is chaotic, so I done got lower than you, Plant. So what I need you to do, based upon you having the ability to to hold on to your alignment, since you are in alignment, I'm gonna transform your, from your energy, put it inside of me so it can quicken me so I can get back into alignment with myself. That's what I'm here for, you to get in alignment. Because alignment and then, alignment and then your whole life gonna change. It's not necessarily about me concerned about what you put in your mouth, it's about me wanting you to learn how to love yourself. It's about me wanting you to learn how to get to know yourself because I know when you get to know yourself, you're going to get to know God for yourself. I know you just like me energetically. When you get attuned to the frequency that you stem from, you're going to connect with your inner being. It ain't going to be like you talking about, oh, this is a coincidence. This is going to be a hunch. You're going to know that you know that you know that the Lord, the part of you, the 99.999% of you that you stem from still exists. And it is walking with you. It is talking with you. It is guiding you back home. Back to your 100% of your brain capacity. Back to your all-knowing self. Because you once was, you always shall be God. Because nothing exists but God, one God, one faith, one baptism. All of this here that we manipulating is God. If it wasn't God, you wouldn't be able to see it. You might think your sickness is the devil. No, no, that's God. That's vibrating at the lowest frequency of God. But God just wants to experience it God's self over there.
So ain't nothing wrong with that part of the story either. It's still God. Woo! This is why I do what I do. This is why I love doing this here. This is why I adorn myself on my birthday to come and talk to you about this here. Because I am God and I know you're God. Even if you don't know it for yourself. Even if you in religion and you're sitting there looking at me talking about I'm blasphemy against your Holy Spirit. No, no, baby. You are God. And I don't mean no little G kind of ass God. I don't mean no soldier in the army kind of God. I mean a master manifester. A master creator. A manipulator of energy. You're God. And I'm going to keep telling you over and over until you realize it for yourself. You can block me, but I'm going to be in, embedded in your DNA. Because embedded in your DNA is a God carbon footprint. You're God. I'm going to be in your nightmare. I'm going to be in your, your thought. I'm going to be on the billboard. I'm going to be in your brain. Because it cannot exist, least it be God. Woo! Somebody needed that today. I don't know where that will come from. <laughs> Well, I know, but woo, that was beautiful. You're God, baby. You're God. So in all this stuff I'm talking about with this physical here, don't you forget. Don't you forget the mindfulness side of it. Don't you forget energetically your thoughts create things. So you could set yourself up there and, and, and think the, the Debbie down the thought, oh, it ain't going to work. Well, so, so shall it be, God. Because you can manifest sickness as well as you can manifest wealth. That's how you got sick. You manifested that thing through thought. As a man think it, so is he. Thought by thought by thought, we thinking this life up. And I suggest you get your mind right, God. Because greatness is ahead for you. Greatness is ahead for you. But if you think it, you think it different, well, so shall that be too for you, God. Because you're not, you're not never getting this thing called life wrong. It is the game of life. I'm teaching you your superpowers so you can get to the next level. But it's a game. You're only winning and learning. It's a game. Don't take it so serious. It's a game. Nothing exists but you because it's your game. I am merely your subconscious mind talking to you through you because it's your game. You manifested me too today because it's your game. You have the controller. You are the operant power. Life is happening through you because it's your game. Have fun playing your game. But don't let your mind play tricks on you while you're playing your game. Don't let your mind have you depressed while you're playing your game. Don't you be like them little children and throw your game up against the wall and say that it ain't fair. No, no, no. You created it. It's your game. Pick the controller up, learn your superpower, and play to win. <laughs> because there's greatness inside of you. I know it. And while I got you as the old blood type's attention, I need you to know this. I need you to know your greatness, O's. Your superpower, O's. So learn how to be disciplined with yourself. But then also, at the same time, learn how to be easy with yourself. Because life is about balance. <laughs> learn how to be wise. As a serpent. But yet as gentle as a dog. Learn how to be yin and yang, the author and the finisher, the beginner and the end, because you're God, and that's what you came here to do. Oh, I'm sorry, I, 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 I got off course, y'all. I don't know. I'm sorry. <laughs> y'all still out there? Let me see. Let me see, 17 and 82, oh, some, some people still stayed. <laughs> I, started, I started preaching, y'all. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for the gift. Wait, <laughs> <laughs> But I had to get that out, that was on my soul, man. Oh, I received all of those words. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Don't be sorry, you saving lives, don't apologize. Thank you, hey, Rhonda. In, into it. Yeah, yeah. 
Hey, spirits, Karoot. That was the meat. Yeah, grateful. Grateful you still up in here. <laughs> so, yeah, I need you to know that, man. That's really important. That's really important. And so when, when that happens to me, you, that's, that's, that's my inner being speaking through me. That's my inner being. And I done got comfortable with my inner being. I definitely manifested you into my life. Thank you for calling me for it, babe. I done got comfortable. Thank you, Rhonda, with my inner being. And you know, years ago, I would be so afraid to speak my truth. I would be so afraid. And then I would be thinking that people, you know, oh, that's why I still kind of say I'm sorry, but it's kind of like sorry, not sorry no more. I still got to say that out my mouth because I would be thinking that people, you know, thinking weird of me. That I tap into my inner being with so much of self-assurance, so much of knowing. Because I know, I know when it's my inner being. Because, because I just get, I just get, I just get lost in a whole nother topic. And it'll, it'll be something off topic from what I was saying. And then I just flow. And it's like words just flowing through me that I just have to say. And I love that. I'm going to love that. I used to run from that. But now I love that. It lets me know that I am in alignment when that happens to me. And it fills my cup with joy. You know, I used to think that old people go think, you know, that, that I got a little witch or something crazy going on and that, that I'm the so-called sinner and this and that. I don't care no more. Because I now understand life happens through me. And this is all me helping me. As I help you, I'm helping my reflection for you, me too, in my simulated environment. So if there's anybody out there, I want to encourage you, don't sit on your gift. That's the thing you came to bring forth. For many years, I sat on mine and I became mute in my voice and I was afraid to speak. And because I became mute in my voice and afraid to speak in the spiritual realm, I was clogging up my throat chakra. And on the physical, it had to manifest as thyroid issues. See, I once had those thyroid issues. I once had that sickness and disease. So I know spiritually where this thing come from. I teach you the physical, but I know all things must start in the spiritual realm first before they manifest into this physical reality. So don't, don't, don't energetically stop your flow. I was running from church though, y'all. Because <laughs> I thought they was trying to tell me that I was going to be a pastor. And I didn't want to be, I didn't want to be around sick people all my life in that aspect. But I ran away from religion and look at me now. <laughs> in my spiritual world, I'm still helping people along their journey. But people that are willing and really more receptive because they come they come to me i ain't got i ain't got to go run out there and, and, and looking for nobody to, for nobody to talk to i just hit my button on my on my phone and they they there they ready and i'm feel so happy so thankful for all of you wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> that's my hand clap to you baby i'm thankful that you called me for i appreciate every last one of you just being here your presence your energy 